sockeye salmon are the most famous Pacific fish. In the ocean, they're silver, but as they run up the freshwater rivers and streams to spawn, their jaws become hooked, their backs become humped, and their body becomes a fiery red color. And for food lovers, it's what's on the inside that counts. And there, too, the sockeye is the favorite. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair assumption. I mean, sockeye is probably one of the most sought after salmon. It's got a stronger flavor than, say, spring salmon, which is quite a bit milder, which, which is a really nice salmon, too. But people tend to like the redness of the sockeye and the flavor of it. And this year, fish lovers have reason to rejoice. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans has put out an estimate that as many as 72 million sockeye salmon could be running here in the Fraser River alone this summer to spawn. If even half of that number shows up, it'll still hit a record high number of fish and could mean more than $100 million for the BC economy. But here's the catch. Detractors have been warning for years that commercial fishermen and climate change had destroyed the sockeye stock here on the west coast forever. In fact, if you speak to the fishermen who have worked these rivers their entire lives, they'll gladly tell you that the sockeye stock has always fluctuated and that that's just the ebb and flow of nature. We've seen production through the 80s and into the early 90s higher than it was in the last 10 years. And so as this goes down over a 10 year period, you get people thinking, oh, the fishery is going down, there's no fish and all of that. And, and it isn't true, but it's the public perception at times. So the ideas that are there are easy for people to, to go after the fishery because it's obvious you can see people harvesting fish. And the fishery is about harvesting fish, but it's just as much about delivering fish to spawning gra gravel and making sure that you have the progeny coming back in order to harvest fish into the future. The caveat with the DFO estimate is that it ranges from 7.2 million fish on the low end to 72 million at the high end. Maybe all this figure really tells us is that it's extremely hard to predict, for sure, exactly how many salmon will return year after year in British Columbia's rivers. But what we do know is that these fish will be the progeny of the previous record run in 2010. That's because sockeye live for four years, the last two or three of which in the ocean, before returning to the very streams where they were born to spawn themselves. Sockeye are also smaller than some other Pacific salmon species, ranging in size from 5 to 15 pounds. And their famous red meat, by the way, is thanks to their diet of zooplankton. But if 72 million sockeye do return this summer, it could be too much of a good thing. There simply won't be enough room in the Fraser River for all the fish to spawn, and the ones that are harvested before heading up river could be a headache for the processing industry. Well, it's possible that we'll run out of capacity. We have only a limited daily processing capacity in our facilities as well as all the other facilities that other companies have. And I know that other people and we are making arrangements to uh, move fish to other places like up north to Prince Rupert where we have facilities. Other people I'm sure are looking at, at other plants perhaps down in the United States for any overflow fish that can be handled here. But uh, the reality is you can only move fresh fish so far before you process it. In, in order to maintain the quality and, and so even if it's possible to have too much of a good thing many people in the salmon trade here don't believe the department of fisheries and oceans numbers anyway i i tend to not believe it but um, i mean who knows right i mean they had that record-breaking year four years ago and they said they would never ever see that again in our lifetime so if they're saying it's going to be double i'll be very surprised but who knows i don't know on the banks of the Fraser River in British Columbia, I'm Bryn Weiss, and this has been a Sun News Special Report.